is going on, gents? It's RPM here. Coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before we get started, let us go ahead and bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man can only take so much disrespect. And with that being said, this article was referred to me by Michael Guevara. And it is a special episode for Dr. MGTOW. Shout out to you, brother, and happy belated birthday. Now, this article was published on the 12th of May. French woman burned alive in street by husband. A 31-year-old French woman was burned alive by her estranged husband after he chased her down the street, shot her in the legs, doused her in a flammable liquid, and set her on fire. The attack took place in broad daylight on May 4th in the Marignac neighborhood near the Bordeaux airport. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! Police say the man fired several shots at the woman as she ran away from him, striking her in the legs. He then set her on fire after she collapsed from the gunshot wounds. The suspect was arrested half an hour after the murder in the neighboring district of Passac, armed with a pistol, a pellet gun, and a cartridge belt, the Bordeaux prosecutor's office said. The woman and the 44-year-old man were separated. They had three children, aged three, seven, and 11, who lived with their mother. The man is also suspected of having started a fire that damaged her home. Prosecutors said that the couple's children were not home at the time of the incident and that they were receiving trauma counseling. In addition, local authorities have set up services for witnesses of the murder. During a news conference two days after the incident, prosecutor Frédéric Portier, or Porture, my French is terrible, so, said witnesses heard screams and gunshots before seeing a woman fall to the ground with wounds in her thighs. This guy was not fucking around. Quote, unquote, as it stands, we can assume that the perpetrator shot the victim and that the victim was still alive when he immolated her. Portery said, she said the woman had seven, or excuse me, the man had seven previous convictions, including a charge last year for spousal violence in the presence of a minor. After he served a brief sentence in prison, he was released in December and ordered not to have any contact with his wife. However, the man admitted to contacting her multiple times and she filed a complaint of aggression against him in March. The killing has reignited national anger over femicide, the intentional killing of a woman based on gender. Ah, yes, here we go. The sanctimonious march of feminists. No, she was not killed just because she was a woman. There was something going on between that couple that drove him over the edge. Now, yes, he was a violent guy in the past, but, but, she knew this man to be a violent man so, why would she stay with him? Anyway, 
The problem of domestic violence and killings has prompted protests in France since 2019, with activists saying that women who tried to report abusive partners were often turned away by police. According to who? Hmm. But before we proceed on, how about the uh, mental and emotional violence perpetrated by women onto men in the form of, you know, arguing, emasculating, humiliation in public, all of those things that are considered non-aggressive because women can't cause physical harm. See, we only want to talk about abuse when it's physical that can be seen. But yet the mental humiliation that men go through, oh, we're supposed to just sit around and, you know, tough it out. Following the incident, a woman's rights group called La Foundation de Females called for the quote unquote, immediate confiscation of weapons from men who have convictions for domestic violence. In 2019, 146 women in France were reportedly killed by a spouse or partner, 28, excuse me, a 21% increase from the previous year. The number of killings fell to 90 in 2020, a decrease that was largely been attributed to the Charlie 19 pandemic. However, there have already been 39 killings in this year in the country, according to La Foundation de Femmes. Now, here's a question. How many male partners were killed by their female partners? Hmm. See, no one ever wants to talk about that because whenever a man is harmed by a woman, the first Thing people say is he must have did something to make her snap. Well, I'm saying the same thing when it comes to the other way. Governor, or excuse me, government minister Marlene Schiappa visited the scene of the crime last week saying, quote unquote, horrified by this heinous crime, I extend my sincere support to the family of the victim. The fight against domestic violence and femicides continues. Prosecutors allege that the man believed his estranged wife was cheating on him. Mm. See, now we have the motivation behind why this guy put the mask on. And quote unquote, decided to punish her for the endured sufferings without intending to kill her. He has been charged with voluntary homicide and other charges relating to the fire at the woman's house. Now let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, I'm gonna go with a 10 because it was in public and there were witnesses. Method of execution, shot and burned. You know I'm going with a 10 on that one. Psychological impact. Since there were witnesses who saw the whole thing go down, I have to go with a 10 on that one. Now for the brutality factor. I'm going with a 15 for this one. Fire is not a good way to go. That is one of the most painful ways to be done in. So, I'm going to give Mr. France a score of 45. Now, 
they want to talk about this whole femicide thing, but yet men get murked every damn day. We just say, you know what? That's a part of life. But once again, this goes to show the outright arrogance of modern women. The world has been made so safe for women that they literally have to create problems to march about. But, but, this just goes to show you men around the world have gotten so tired of the current way that women are being treated as angelic beings above men. Men built the damn world that women have become too comfortable with. But yet, modern men can't even get the basic loyalty from a wife, which is another reason why the marital rate has plummeted to an all-time low. Now, let's just think about this. I don't know whether they have child support in France, but I'm pretty sure if they do, this guy was going to get raked over the coals. Now, they talk about it was her home. Hmm, something tells me that that might have been his home that he was ejected out of. Not excusing the man's violent behavior. However, when it comes to HMT, there's always a deeper story. Why was the guy being violent towards his wife? See, no one wants to talk about that little thing. And that's where I would focus. There had to be a reason. The guy was not particularly violent for no reason. There has to be a chain of events. But anyway, anyway, she went to the police. She got the restraining order. But guess what? And ladies, with that being said, the power will eventually go out. Feminism, this false veil of security that you enjoy, and any sort of paperwork you get from the police, like a restraining order, is not going to be a magical force field that keeps him away from you. Just saying. When a man gets pushed to that point where he finally decides if he can't get legal justice, then he will take personal retribution. That's it, ladies. Game over for you. Game over. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.